All right. Hello, everybody, and uh, good morning. Peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we have interesting news about the Holy House of Allah. Um, I was viewing the, um, the videos, and I'm very thankful for the Internet. It shows that the Kaaba now is shut down because it's under attack by millions and billions of cockroaches and other insects. Uh, now the Muslim they are saying those are a cricket they are not cockroaches but this is not true uh, the city is impacted by all kind of insect uh, uh, including locust <clears throat> but the major attack is by cockroaches and this is the Muslim videos they are the one who is posting and you will see here the Muslims are praying to Allah to save them from the cockroaches because they believe that this is a curse. Uh, you see, all of this is a prayer. They are asking Allah to save the, the Kaaba from the cockroaches. Uh, nobody, nobody is saying this is not cockroaches, but the Muslims try to defend it. Now, for sure, the attack is not done only by cockroaches. I think the cockroaches, they have an agreement with other insects to attack the house of Allah. If we take the title of this Muslim video, I'm not going to play the video for you, but you can watch it. It's I have a link. Uh, I have a link in the info. I will take it to Google Translation. Google Translation. And I will translate in front of you. The spread of cockroaches, locked, lock, uh, locust in Mecca and Haram. See how they we, it was eliminated. All right, not a single Muslim. He say this is not cockroaches. And here we go. Yes, I mean all all Islamic website, all Islamic videos are saying the same. And not everyone, not even a single one. This is as an example, Akbar Saudi, the news of Saudi Arabia. This is official website for a foreign agency. And you will see here, all of them, they are saying the same. We copy the title. And we translate in Google. Cockroaches sweeping in the Mecca campus, which means the Kaaba area. Learn why they are so widespread and dangerous and as you see i mean muslims are posting this one have one million view this video have one million view this is the name of the translation And here, by the way, they are confirming that this has always happened, you know. But uh, uh, usually, they don't allow people to tape it and record it by phones. So this here, those they were they were they were leaked. Usually, always cockroaches attack Kaaba. Urgent cockroaches spread in Mecca and Haram and Locust. Locust have become large as have not seen before. Now the funny that the Kaaba live broadcast is in front of us and if you look you would think that the people are praying in the Kaaba as nothing happened you see this is supposedly live broadcast but the fact this is not live the Kaaba now is shut down and there is no such a thing and actually uh, How in the world you lie to people and you post live streaming, which is pre-recorded, saying to them this is life, when the fact everybody is saying that the Kaaba is shut down and Mecca in total, and, and like they are spraying, uh, spraying the whole city, is not like just Mecca alone, just not not the Kaaba alone. The whole city is 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 uh, is, is under attack. But here, what I care for. 
the Quran says that when an army of an elephant Allah he destroyed it. same time the Muslims they believe the same as it's written by uh, in the Old Testament they believe that if something like this happened that's mean they are cursed you know it's like when when the Pharaoh he was uh, uh, being tough on the Jews um, etc so he was punished and the Quran says in chapter 7 verse 133 And we send against them the flood of lo uh, locust and the vermin and the frogs and the blood as you see this is why you see in the Muslim videos the Muslims here they are praying to Allah asking for forgiveness the moon God is not helping Allahumma la tu'adhibna bima fa'ala sufaha minna hadha iqabu min Allah translation O oh Allah, don't punish us for what the foolish people did to us, which means people of the Saudi, they did. I think they are speaking about the crown prince. And now they will say because the crown prince, he allowed the women to sing, Allah, he sent the cockroaches and the Kaaba. Hmm? Just wait. We continue. <clears throat> Another prayer. Translation Oh God forgive us and for and forgive us forgive the believers uh, Give us uh, peace and eternal rest. Oh God lift up your anger and the anger against us Oh God I seek your forgiveness and repent to you you see what cockroaches can do? Slaughtering people every day, attacking boss, attacking a bunch of Jews walking in the street. Nobody is asking God for forgiveness. But the cockroaches, they made the Muslims suddenly need to pray. It's the cockroaches. I mean, my friend, the cockroaches is something very bad, very bad. Actually, this is always happen, you know, always happen. And actually, uh, this is a proof that all what Islam speak about is a lie. Because, you know, the Muslim, they claim that this is a holy house of Allah and Allah is the one who chose the place. And, uh, you know, uh, it's a holy ground. Uh, when, the, when the army of the elephant came to destroy the Kaaba, Allah sent birds who throw rocks. And they destroy, uh, they destroy that army as we see in this chapter, chapter 105. It's called the chapter of the elephant. This is why it's called the elephant chapter. And, you know, we know that the Kaaba was destroyed many times, you know. Uh, If you remember before I made a video about the Kaaba and why the Kaaba cannot be what the Muslims claim it is the house of Allah and I will show you why I say so additional I mean this cockroaches for me is not a big deal really but just this is just to show the Muslims how much naive they are um, <clears throat> As long as the Kaaba location was selected by Allah, so how the Muslims can explain to us that the Kaaba is located in the worst place in Mecca to the point it's always flooded by the sewage? Imagine you hire the most smart engineering company to choose a location for your house in the world. And this engineering company, run by Allah Himself, He is the engineer. He chose the best location. 
and then this Kaaba every year is a flooded by the sewage because you know in Kaaba there's no sewage by the way in Mecca there's no sewage there's there's excuse my language there's a shit hole where people they have a hole in the, next to their house in the ground and all their dump go there so when a flood come all of those things inside they float in the top like cake and they go with it so if the Kaaba was selected to be in that place by Allah so why Allah could not save the Kaaba and put it in a higher place I mean if you put it like just 50 meter away from that location in the top of a hill that will save the Kaaba from humiliation of the pupu so how this is a place chosen by Allah and yet this place is flooded by the pupu every year now for sure now the flood is not as before by the help of the American engineering companies who try to find a solution for this issue because the Kaaba located in a down down the valley in Mecca so when there is little rain come all the water come down in this area and as you see in the front of you on the screen it will flood the Kaaba and usually the, the, the flood is, can go up really look at this guy here is swimming do you see the the people that are swimming I don't know if you can see the people are swimming so you tell me how this is can be the house of Allah Allah he chose the house to be there I mean don't you think that this is a wrong location half of the Kaaba is covered almost here the, the, the water is coming to the roof So when we say that this is a house of God and the one who chose this house is God, either your God is a drunk and he is not smart and he made the wrong decision and now he cannot change it. And that to prove that God is not God. And by the way, if this is the house of God, let us say if God, he chose this place and this place is low, can't Allah, he raise the ground? What do you think Muslims? If Allah is your God and he is the, the the one who created the universe can't he like move his finger up a little bit and he can make the Kaaba go up the holy ground will go up he can right you you say to me he's God well he can just lift the Kaaba up a few meters up and that's it everything will be flooded except the Kaaba and that will be a miracle hmm? where is your God to flip his finger and make it go up The same now you are playing for us live stream of the Kaaba when the Kaaba is shut down falling people make them believe that the Kaaba is okay when the Kaaba is not okay and now I'm going to go and cry and pray to Allah asking for forgiveness please don't let the Kaaba go because of how we can live without the Kaaba you know a Filipino Muslim he can he can live without rice but he cannot live without the Kaaba it's more important A Thai Muslim, he can live without hot paper, but he cannot live without the Kaaba. An Arab guy like me, he can live without a goat, but he cannot live without the Kaaba. Kaaba is very important in our life. What we will do without the Kaaba? So now look what happened. We have a flood taken over the Kaaba. We have cockroaches. We have lo uh, uh, locusts. We have uh, 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 all kinds of insects. And Allah is doing nothing. Where is Allah? Should we make a revolution against him now? Should we make an uh, Islamic spring? Like here we go. We took Saddam Hussein off. We took Al Qazafi off. I think it's time to take Allah off. He's not doing his job. This guy is chatting no sense. Would you tell me what a sense? How your God Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, yet he chose it in a place where it's flooded always. You tell me. Well, where, where is where is the what is the sense here? How you say to me that the one who chose the location by centimeter is Allah, and then we find the Kaaba is flooded by sewage, and you are telling me I make no sense? Are you saying to me that Allah He chose to put it there so it's going to be flooded by sewage and this is a holy place? So cockroaches, insect attacking the Kaaba, attacking Mecca, uh, locust, uh, uh, you know, I mean. And now the, the official government web uh, uh, news agencies in Saudi Arabia telling the Muslims, don't worry, 
we brought all the equipment the most modern equipment in the world to destroy those insects but please don't eat them why in the world they want to eat them oh they are talking about not to eat the rock cockroaches. no they are talking about not to eat the lo lo locust because they have an attack by the locust too and look what will happen now the Saudi they spend trillions of dollars to grow some greenery in their land which is the dead land I mean it's a desert they think by spending money they can make their land you know heaven and now the insect will eat it alive all right and what make it more funny that right now in the live stream of Mecca as you see this is supposedly live stream let me refresh the page see this is live stream supposedly but it's fake the Kaaba now is shut down there's nobody in the Kaaba this is a fake live stream you can click at the video down there by the way and you can search you can go let me tell you how to do something you can go to Google translation okay and switch Arabic to English which mean here instead of uh, 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 the English here, the Arabic here. Type here, cockroaches in Mecca, and then copy it in Arabic here, and take it to YouTube and search. For those who believe that we are not saying the truth. Very easy, you do not need to learn how to speak Arabic, just type here in English, in Google Translation, you know, you switch like you you choose the language your, your language i don't know what is your language like for me i, I will write cockroaches in mecca okay i will copy the word as it is in the front of you 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 can do the opposite you can type cockroaches in mecca and and copy the arabic and then you go to youtube all right you go to youtube search engine here and you paste oh. and here we go for hours ago 10 hours ago uh six hours ago and they are playing for us a live streaming from the kaaba when the kaaba is shut down actually here this one here is the image is really scary this one this video here because it looked like billions of insects and cockroaches and this one here is very funny too because the muslims are sitting in the ground and the cockroaches walking around them look at the title As-Sarasir Taghzu al-Haram al-Makki the cockroaches attacking the holy ground of of Kaaba here different title the lo locust attacking the holy ground here a sarasir which means cockroaches sarasir in Arabic mean cockroaches my heart is hurting seeing sarasir making uh, uh, making me absent from praying in the Kaaba Saudi Arabia millions of cockroaches attack Mecca and they are requesting the army uh, brigade 22 to fight it <laughs> the army brigade 22 <laughs> okay yeah so if we go you know and by the way uh, the Muslim they say to you that those are a cricket uh, Cricket. That will not change anything anyway, but it is cockroaches.
the cricket they have uh, you know every country by the way have the, its own uh, like I don't know if you go to Asia you see cockroaches there they look um, there's many different kind of cockroaches every country have its own the desert cockroaches is a little bit different from area which is uh, but it doesn't matter, a cricket, a loctus, uh, cockroaches, it is the same, but it is cockroaches. And this is why, you know, I did not see it, uh, I wasn't there, but I did not see one title in Arabic, which posted by Muslims, saying it is a cricket, or they say Salasir. All say Salasir. Copy the title. فيديو لملايين الصراصير صراصير الليل translation video of millions of cockroaches in Mecca you see so this is the Muslim titles I mean it doesn't make sense that the Muslim they will they will make the title cockroaches when it is not cockroaches right anyway we hope that the Kaaba will stay okay and we hope that the cockroaches will not eat it and uh, because you know this is first of all it's a holy ground and maybe you never know I mean isn't Muhammad he says that all creatures worship Allah maybe they are doing Hajj I mean why you have the right to go and visit the Kaaba and yet the cockroaches cannot let the cab, let the sarsour. You know, there is a woman. Her name is Linda Sarsour, by the way, a Muslim woman, very well known. Uh, sarsour means cockroach. In case you do not know, so let the sarsour go and do Hajj. Maybe they are doing Hajj. Maybe they converted to Islam. Maybe, maybe uh, they watched the debate between Muhammad Hijab and David Wood, and they became they decide to become Muslims because Muslims they claim that the uh, Hijab uh, he won the debate. You know, you never know. I mean, things might happen. So this is why even the Quran says when when Muhammad he was victorious uh, 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 People they converted to Islam by waves. I'm serious. You know here we go if you go in the Quran It says that when when Muhammad became victorious they come to Islam by waves Before nobody want to come to Islam after he killed everybody everybody got scared and suddenly everybody want to convert to Islam see this is that the 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 chapter of victory when allah success, uh, muhammad he became he became victorious we see mankind entering the religion of allah by by troops in troops like armies you know it's like millions entering you know yeah the fear they became victorious nobody before want to enter the so those maybe those uh, Maybe the, the crown prince, he threat the cockroaches. If you can convert to Islam, we will spray you. I mean, we have to take all kind of options into consideration. You know? We don't know. Al-Walad Faris? Shini ya Faris? Atla'at khrati. Lent Faris, ula rab'ak khfursan, ul kulkun khrayan ab khrayan. يقول حتى حتى الصراصير ما تركتكم بحالكم صراصير صراصير صرصور يا صرصور you know I don't know I mean what what uh, this God he says to us that he protected the Kaaba from the army of the elephant and then we find the Saudi they are dying to buy airplanes from the USA I mean why you are worried you have the flying jets of Allah, the birds, you know. Remember Al-Qurmuti, who destroyed the Kaaba, and he took the black stone, and he took it as 21-year stones, doing it as a pupu stone. Allah, he could not save the Kaaba. He, did not, he could not bring the black stone. The Muslims have to pay him money to get it back. Where is the elephant a story? So Allah, he have, he have birds to fight the elephant who they are clean. But he cannot send birds to eat those cockroaches. Send birds to kill the cockroaches. And here we go. This is your Kaaba. Do you know where those insects they stop by in their way? 
poo poo and garbage and etc. And now they are over the Kaaba. And by the way, there is a the Muslims they say to you that uh, birds, even birds, don't stop in the top of the Kaaba. You believe it? Birds don't even stop in the top of the Kaaba. They they have tons of videos saying why the birds don't stop on the Kaaba or don't fly over the Kaaba. Now, how truthful that is? Absolutely, this is false. Not only they stop in the top of the Kaaba, they stop and they enjoy doing poo poo in the top of the Kaaba. And the Muslims lie to us saying things which is not true that you know the the birds they don't do such a thing. Let me show you a picture. Actually, one of you sent me this picture. Let me. Let me take a snapshot of it. There we go. Let us open it for you. Go and check in the internet how many polls the Muslim they have that birds don't fly in the top of the Kaaba. And look at this. The Kaaba is covered by poop of the birds. And this is why they have a team always to keep it clean. They climb in the top of the roof. And this is why actually they cover it by the, by the clothing because simply the Kaaba is haram. It's like, a, it's like a vagina, you know? So they die to us and they say all kind of fabrications. Airplanes cannot fly over Mecca. Uh, birds don't fly over the Kaaba. Uh, the Kaaba have zero gravity zone, which means we must be flying like if you are in the space in the Kaaba. I mean, all those uh, funny, uh, stupid stories, which is far away from the truth, fabricated just to make you believe that this is a holy place. And then we check it out, we find that this place always flooded by by poop and by by uh, 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 by cockroaches and by uh, by water, by garbage, by sewage, and this is how holy it is. So the whole the whole point of this video, there is nothing holy about this land. And this is a fabrication, you Muslims, you brought yourself. You believe in the pagan religion before you. There was 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula alone. And Muhammad and his people, they destroy all the other Kaaba because this is the only important lift for Muhammad. He chose it to be the place of a prayer. And Muhammad himself, he absent from this Kaaba for many, many years. Did you ask yourself why? Because at that time he was praying to Jerusalem, trying to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. But after some time, when he noticed that the Jews will not believe in him anyway, and he is wasting his time, he decided to go back to his old pagan religion, the Kaaba and the Black Stone. The Jews will not help me. I better leave. As simple as that. So, uh, just to remind you, we will be back at 3 p.m., maybe before. Today we have a live broadcast, me and uh, the gentleman, his name, uh, the apostate prophet. So by 3 o'clock we will be here again. Uh, share this video around, download it, and let us pray to Allah to save the Kaaba from the cockroaches and locusts and all the insects and mosquitoes. Please Allah, don't let the mosquitoes bite the Kaaba or the cockroaches do any harm. Please don't let them steal the black stone because now there is no guards around for everybody is hiding. Please Allah, don't let the cockroaches make their nest inside the black stone. Please Allah, don't make them lay babies and eggs there. Please don't do that. Don't, don't let them do that. This will be a victory against Islam. Allah, please cover the black stone with something. Put your hand as an example or your foot as the Quran says or, or, or show your shin and scare the hell of them. Do something Allah, use your finger. You know, you have five fingers, use one. I will not tell you which one, but don't use the middle one, please, just for the sake of respect. We have ladies in the chat. Just do anything, Allah, and let us see if you can do some help for the black stone and the pagans who worship the black stone. It's a holy stone. We cannot, what we would do without the black stone, Allah, especially the stone look like a vagina. Imagine men in the Middle East live without vagina. That is horrible, you know. We can live without rice, it's okay. We can live without goat. We can we can live even without satellite dish, which is extremely important to watch porn, but not without the black stone. Please, Allah, don't do that to us. 
save us and protect us Allah from whatever happening and you know may Allah and uh, uh, I don't know if Zach and I want to say something there's the prince and name the current prince and you saying that the Kaaba would attack the black dog but the cockroaches first of all those are cockroaches and they are animals and they have no understanding so how you can blame the cockroaches for such a thing cockroaches go everywhere if you open your closet, you found cockroaches. If you open your drawer, you found the cockroaches. Or you open your refrigerator, and you found the cockroaches. So cockroaches everywhere. So what this is the drama about? It's very normal. And this is not against Islam. And if the cockroaches, they go to the Kaaba because simply Allah allowed them. And maybe they are committing or doing hajj. Or umrah. Thank you very much. So as you see, it's explained. I mean, maybe the cockroach is doing hajj or doing umrah. Download the video before we take it down. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we will be back again in a few hours at 3 p.m. with the apostate prophet. Join us and be with us. And this Christian prince was with you, praying to Allah to save the Kaaba and the black stone from the cockroaches invasion. I think they are paid by the Jews, and there's no question about that. Sound, sound fishy. I will not be surprised if Netanyahu, he hired this brigade of cockroaches to attack Mecca. The Jews are behind everything, my friend. Anything happen, anything, it must be the Jews. Let us blame the Jews. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.